Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, I just got my coffee. I'm just waiting for my soul to enter my body back again. Um, but I wanted to get out because I got some XRP question on price again. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of like address this because it's impossible to like put the actual dollar amount. But let me just say this way. If all of the countries around the world are going to be using the open network, the, the Ripple, you know, when I call it an open network, it's because all these countries are going to be tied to it. It's like if they want to just be on it, they can go right, it's open network. Now, once you're on the Ripple blockchain, the, the Ripple network, as far as like being able to move money from cross borders, yada, 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 you have to understand that all the countries in the world, all their central banks, okay, even the IMF, all of them, they're going to have to have XRP, the bridge currency, you know, that ties everything together. It's going to have to be at a high price. There's no way around it. Let me explain to you the reason why. How do you, how do you continue to have, like, the, 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 the free movement of everything going back without being tied up? The value of it has to be enormous. This way, there's enough coin out there. And maybe that's a little bit too hard for people to understand, but in order to create liquidity in this, in this coin, because it's going to be needed, because if you want to send money, let's say Russia wants to send money to Argentina or vice versa, they're going to need available XRP. They're going to need those, those tokens. They're going to have, they're going to have to be valued at a point where it's so high that it can cover the transaction between governments, central banks, institutions, and major corporations. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Okay, XRP was made for that level. So it's gonna be a, an agreed upon price at that level in order to have the liquidity going back and forth. So if Argentina wants to send, I don't know, $800 million for some type of, you know, whatever payment, or let's say Saudi Arabia sends a bill to India and they need to get paid on a certain amount, that's why the price has to be high. So when people, I see people talking about price, they're, they're, they're looking at crypto speculation. They're not looking at global economic business. They're not looking at global finance. When countries, government, in the countries, banks, institute, when they're sending money, they're sending money in the, in the hundreds of millions, billions. So the price has to be high to be a bridge currency. To, that's how they have liquidity. So people speculating on price, you got to stop because at the end of the day, you're holding coins for the big boys. There you go.